This week we've been doing the Microsoft hack. They've come into Ordnance Survey and we've set up a whole cloud flow line so that we can possibly locate but also classify roof types and prove the scalability of the cloud with our OS data. And what we're doing is we're taking some satellite photography We've got some data about points of interest within that photography and we're looking to hoik out those points of interest and fire them off at a machine learning algorithm to do a detection of what the roof type is for that point of interest. So from your input imagery, you find the roof, you classify the roof shape, so you say is it gable, is it flat, um, and then you update existing data where you know where the outline of building is and you say this outline of building is a gable roof. It's not just asking the machine, here's a roof, what shape is it? This is about presenting the machine with, here's an image, there are loads of roofs in it, find me the roofs and then tell me what shape they are as well. So I have a number of data architects who work alongside me and they're really the technical brains behind the operation. And this hack this week is just an example of how we like to partner with our customers these days. So for me, it's really about partnership, it's about collaboration. And I think the hack this week just exemplifies that. We've split into two work streams. One, one is looking at the engineering of the data. Um, you might say the plumbing of the data is how we, how we connect all the, the components together to push the data through a system at speed, at scale, at volume. I can take very large satellite images and I can take a very large data set. So in our case, we're processing quite a few hundred thousand data points, mash these together and then do an operation to kind of crop these satellite images for our points of interest and then fire them across the web to a machine learning algorithm. We need a lot of computing power, which is the sort of thing we don't really have on premise. So we need to be able to do this um, with really, really powerful computers, and which is why part of this hack is about um, doing that in the cloud. We provide a platform called Azure, public cloud infrastructure. I think of it like a bunch of Lego bricks. Essentially, it enables customers to, to build what they want. It provides components that are native Microsoft components, as well as third party, as well as open source components that customers can bring to that platform and build services and capabilities to meet the business need and the business outcome. I think the real thing that's happened this week is that we've all come out of our day jobs. We cancelled meeting, we've been here for the whole week, all together, working together, and I think that's what's really difficult about this way of working. I have learned so much, and I, there's so much that I can take from this and put back into Ordnance Survey, uh, especially in the deep learning side. Working with Microsoft has been really good. They've given us a lot of talent to come and help us and, and show us how we can best use their platform. Serious breadth of knowledge and skill, for, um, both on the machine learning and the engineering side. So we've managed to cover a lot in the week. It's been a pleasure working here because there is a can-do attitude here. Um, so we've been able to build a lot of trust with Ordnance Survey, and I think that's been a key to our success, that we can quickly turn the lights on, spin up infrastructure, and then enable the data scientists to do what they enjoy doing. The Ordnance Survey has some fantastic people, some really kind of technically proficient people at the, right at the cutting edge of, um, of technology. And I've just been super impressed with the way the Ordnance Survey have gone about um, uh, working with us this week, from before the hack to getting the infrastructure set up, um, overcoming the challenges that Microsoft have given an Ordnance Survey, both technically, commercially, and legally. Um, and then the way that both organisations have worked this week has been fantastic. So yeah, thumbs up from me.